my name is Sasha. Welcome to the Mothership. Let's see what our messages are for today. Part of the reading today, we have the Seven of Swords reversed, Three of Swords reversed, and the Death card reversed. So maybe coming out of a space of heartache, beginning to heal yourself and to kind of leave behind things that didn't serve you. Some of you, this is the end of a relationship or a job or a huge change. Some of you, this is actually moving to a new location and leaving um, other things behind. So this could also be a place where you are resisting this change as well and need to go in and do this release work. Uh, but for most of you, this is really coming out of a time of big change. For the Divine Feminine, today you have the Knight of Cups reversed, you have Justice, the Lovers, the King of Swords reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, and the Two of Wands. Some of you had to make some big choices in love, some of you didn't receive uh, the offers that you wanted, and you want fairness, you want equilibrium. For some of you, there was a lack of trust and communication and passion. And for some of you, you had to go your own way. And others of you, I'm hearing that you didn't get the verdict that you wanted in your court case. Um, so this is just all about you making those, those passionate choices right now. Making choices to just put you in alignment with what your truth is and what your passion is. For the Divine Masculine today, you have the Ten of Cups, Five of Swords, Page of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Devil Reversed, and the Four of Wands. So this is a place where you can be receiving those tests from your, your guidance team and also your higher divinity. And just kind of staying the path. Many of you are wanting that harmony and that happiness, and this is on its way to you. This is a time of continuing to put in the dedication and the passion right now. Even though it might be hard, you're getting very close to the end of a cycle. For some of you, uh, you may have just been having a hard time, especially on this new part of your path. Many of you are putting aside things that have been toxic to you though, and you are focusing on your twin flame union. And this is making you very happy because no matter what stage you're in, when you're doing your true healing work and you're focusing on your happiness and having that commitment and dedication, it doesn't matter what stage of the twin flame path you're in. It just matters that you understand it and you understand what part of the cycle you're in. Let's get a few more cards out. Divine Masculine, you have the Eight of Wands reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Wands reversed. So some of you may have been expecting a certain outcome, especially in regards to another person or opportunity. And maybe you thought this was going to go somewhere. Um, but again, this is all about your expectations. So there is a need to shift more into the energy of unconditional love. This is not a time to force things. Some of you, this is a rededication period for you where you really do need to put aside restrictions and focus on your work and work harder. This is not about waiting for somebody to do it for you or somebody to tell you what to do. Right now is your time 
to figure out how to do that for yourself. Because nobody else is going to do this for you. And that's the reminder that you need to hear about your twin flame path right now. This is time for you to do the work. So for some of you, this is uh, taking the initiative to buy that first twin flame program that's in the description box by Sophia. That would be the twin flame union package. For some of you, I would suggest the mini package on trust. There's also one on cosmic law and abundance. That would help a lot right now. So whatever stage you might be in, as you work towards your twin flame union, this is, this is all about you getting your happiness and going towards your desires and understanding what this path is that you're on. For the Divine Feminine, you have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot Reverse. So some of you want to move forward and everything has maybe stagnated or come to a stop. And this is a time where if you don't take a break right now, you're not going to have the energy for the next phase that's coming up. So it's important to rest, rejuvenate, restore yourself, put yourself back into emotional balance as well. This is where you reclaim your harmony and you do that self-care, self-nurturing, looking at the things you need to look at, taking that time for reflection and introspection. So for some of you, this is your travel plans getting canceled. Uh, for others of you, this is uh, creating a new schedule and routine as well that puts you more in balance. Let's get a few guidance cards. Divine Masculine, you have peace. There's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. This is understanding divine timing. And understanding that as you put the work in on your own path and your own healing, do your inner work, you will get the guidance that you're looking for. The heart of the reading, we have the High Priestess. This is all about having that intuitive knowing, even within these changes that are going on. This is about you opening up to knowing the truth through your heart through your third eye, being able to look at things, look at the world with the eyes of truth. And this is about you stepping into the role of being a teacher as well. So these lessons that you're going through are to prepare you for this. Sometimes within the twin flame path, you don't always know why you're being tested or what you're being um, shown. But sometimes it's about you gaining the experience and just that experience will help you to relate to another twin flame or another person who needs that help as well. Divine Feminine. This is about improving your home. This is a healthy change either in location or the occupants. And this is all about you having that restoration and having that union within yourself so that you can move towards your passion. So just know that your home life is improving. 